All right, hey guys, welcome in today. I'm excited we get to do some shoes, of course. We are doing the Panda Dunks today. Popular shoe right now that has kind of been overhyped and everything. There's a lot of different variations of them, but we are going to get started on uh, kind of like I do most of my shoes. We'll talk a little bit, of course, about the history and stuff from, of course, your favorite shoe obsessed teacher, Mr. Shooty. This one's a low top. There is a high top version. As we'll talk about some of the history, the highs and the lows and mids and everything going here. So it kind of goes down and then over like that L shape that I do with most shoes. This one's pretty flat on the bottom. Kind of curves a little bit towards up and then kind of narrow, but you want to kind of find that happy medium between uh, not too narrow, but not too wide. And then stretch it out almost to the you know, full size of the paper, and then gradually starts to go at an arch going this way. And then has a little curve going up and then down and then back up. So it kind of rides that little roller coaster that goes up, down, and then back up over here. And then we got the basic silhouette or shape of it. I'll go over that a little bit darker so you can see. Okay, nice, I like how that looks. I'm gonna add the little tongue on here just to get it a little better shape. Kind of starts about in the middle of this diagonal and then goes up and then curves back down. You can see that I kind of, when I went over here a little bit darker, I kind of tucked this in a little bit because that'll curve around. And then this midsole down here, the kind of rubber on the bottom, kind of bumps out a little bit. That gives me a little bit of hint on where that sole, and that'll come down here. And then I kind of slope it down and then bring it back up. Just looks basic like your basic shoe now, but we're gonna set these little different kind of panels um, on the sides and then of course the Nike symbol here. Quick little break from our shoe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That's the way to get all my free fun videos and especially on shoes. You can go, go ahead and hit that button. That's the easiest way to do that. It's very similar to the Air Force One. It's kind of a mix of the Air Force One, um, an Air Jordan and the Dunks were kind of all during that same kind of middle 80s. Um, when Nike um, was just kind of getting into more um, collegiate sports they had a whole series that came out um like uh, pay tribute to your school be true to your school that was what they're kind of uh, as authentic as we can so i'm starting back here i'm going to do this little bump on the side kind of curves up over here and i know that's where my nike symbol is going to come down um, but i'm not going to quite do that just yet i'm going to start with this little back kind of bump this little heel up here and that, I'm going to kind of get that shape because that'll go really, really tight and really close to this. And then that almost goes like right through the Nike symbol there. So I think if I got that little swooping line over here, and then that also turns out, that'll be where your lace holes will go in there. And that thick panel goes right about down to here. Pretty thick. Nike symbol will then go right through that. So let's get that out of the way. Nike symbols can be a little bit tricky if you haven't done too many of them. Um, I'm going to try to pay attention to some of the proportions because I know it goes straight, or well, I shouldn't say straight, almost at an angle, but going down and then it curves and loops back over, almost like it's pointing up, like back towards the shoelaces, like a little bit of angle there. And then the big scoop where it really, really stretches out thick. And then it eventually goes thinner. So it, it kind of has one curve and then two, almost like a bubble letter. And then goes really, really tight up here. A little bit smaller, almost like right where that heel kind of bumps out. Ooh, it's looking a little better now. Okay, so we got that part. That part's one of the more tricky parts of this. And then, so, you know, I got maybe a finger's width over here and probably about another finger's width before I have this next part that kind of curves out and then back up. And that'll run into this one, 
which is kind of a wavy, almost like the Jordan. Like, well, Air Force Ones have that also, where it's kind of a wavy like I did when I did those, where it goes down. And there, so again, I'm trying to play with some of those proportions just so everything kind of matches. This curves down here and then jets over. This comes down over here and that's that kind of toe box area. So it kind of, you know, kind of loops down and then curls around the toe. So it goes down, curls quick, and then goes up a little bit, up a little bit here. And then really nice around that toe. If you add that little curve at the end, it starts to make it a little bit more realistic. Okay, I'm gonna skip off this top and go down here because um, I think this, this bottom will definitely help. So it goes down here, but it almost takes a section in the back that goes over, uh, almost pretty similar to here, where you can put a little dot under there, and then it dips down really thin. So this kind of bumps up and over, down. This one goes really thin on there down to that next part that again kind of matches that same arch over here and then over, down again. And then over and the last one, this one's a little bit smaller and then goes all the way up around here towards the toe. Okay, it's starting to look like it now. I like that. I'll fill this in a little bit and I can always play with that with my Sharpie, um, adding some thickness in certain areas that I don't exactly like. That's why I always try to tell my kids it doesn't have to be perfect. Even if your lines don't erase them, just kind of add to them. And then with your Sharpie and your coloring, you can kind of fix some of these little parts and little panels. I like, I like how it looks. It's looking pretty sweet on there. Um, I'm gonna fix a couple of these and then outline it in Sharpie. So I'll go through that real quick. Um, I'm also gonna add this little tag up here, kind of square this off and a little Nike tag up here on the top. Okay, let's go through that real quick. look really good now now it's like your coloring sheet and you can customize them however that you, you want. want again there are so many different colorways of this one but i got something special for mine my best representation of the panda dunk so just like Bam, there it is. We got our panda duck on here. I made my own little panda up here with a Nike symbol. A green and black background just to complete it a little bit better. So hopefully you guys had fun with this because of course I had fun with this. I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's art class. We'll talk to you guys later.